everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting here again. Uh, I'm coming to share with you today. Oh, it's dropping down. Uh, I just finished this journal. I can't see, so I have to pick it up. And I have made for this journal, just let me to find it. Yeah. Uh, pockets like this and uh, tucks inside. So uh, I'm editing all these videos and I would like to share with you how I made these pockets and how I made these beautiful tags with embossed uh, effect using embossing uh, powder. Uh, while cleaning my craft studio I have found so many things uh, from my craft tools and all those craft supplies which I haven't used for many years or uh, not years many months because I forgot I have them so it's time to take <coughs> all these beautiful supplies and start to do something uh, once I will have uh, edit all these videos you will have a chance to see this journal so right now I'm gonna switch my camera and we will start to create something together I hope you will enjoy it so okay, let's make simple tags and then um, some pockets for these tags. While ago I have created many of these collage papers and I stuck them and forgot I have them. <laughs> I found them when I was cleaning uh, and reorganizing my room and I'm gonna use them as a background for these images. Uh, these are included in all collection for the journal <clears throat> link you will find down below. These images I'm gonna cut on pieces. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna cut out those images, not images on pieces. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use the, uh, the paper, that collage paper, and I'm gonna cut the background, I think. Yeah. So I'm gonna cut a little bit bigger piece. So I have cut these uh, collage papers on two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths, and uh, it's big enough to hold uh, the image and to have also that collage all around. And I've got here those small uh, mini tabs. I do have them on my Etsy. If if you don't have mini tabs you can order them from my Etsy go to have a look they are uh, all kind of colored so I think I'm gonna use them as a decoration on the top so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue these images on my papers and then decorate it a little bit so I'm gluing those images as a first and then I will do just some small layout all around nothing too much complicated because I do have that collage paper under and it's beautiful I like that collage paper I like the effect it has under that image and the last one so I do have my images on the background and I already like it the collage paper it's wonderful for decorating uh, for you know editing something to your to your text so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these on the top because I wanna create a nice narrow nice narrow pockets for that and we will create them together so I'm gonna glue first these mini tabs and not always in the middle I'm gonna make it also on the side I mean on left side or right side not on this side on left side or or on right side of the top
I do have my tax done and I have accidentally deleted video when I'm making those decorations around. I, I try to make space on my camera and click there. Instead of transfer, I click the delete and you can't find it then when you once you delete it. So I'm gonna quickly show you what I did. Uh, I did uh, embossing using white embossing powder and embossing using uh, clear embossing powder. I have used the stamps I have created. This I created from scratch. And this one it's a piece of silicone stamp. Uh, this was background stamp, but I didn't use it often because all that stamp wasn't just what I want anymore. So I just created my own stamp using, you know, just piece of that. So what I did, I need to use now this uh, anti-static powder to make sure I will have clear, uh, clear white embossing powder just on the space I want. I'm gonna use this stamp and I think with that writing and I'm gonna stamp here I've got here white embossing powder. Yeah, come on, open. And I'm gonna um, use my heating tool to make it more visible. So that's one and then for that clear embossing powder I have used these numbered stamps and black ink and I put here a number six so I'm gonna use it oh number nine oh this is number nine okay number nine Number six is there. So I'm gonna place that number here. Use clear embossing powder. I do love that effect when that clear embossing powder start to melt and all kind of colors getting more visible. And as a last thing what I did, I've got these beautiful stamps. I received them a while ago in Happy Mail from Germany. So I'm gonna use that as a decoration. And I'm gonna place it right here. So that's all I did. It's just small decoration. And here you can see how these mini tacks looks like. So I'm gonna tidy up my table and we will create pockets or envelopes for these tacks. So I do have here a strip of cardboard. It's just like my tool now for folding these off cuts. Uh, when I am sending parcels, I'm wrapping them to brown paper, that packing wrapping paper. And I'm always saving those kind of off cuts from that paper. So now I'm gonna use it for those envelopes. And this should be as my tool to fold that paper. This stack it's two and seven eighths wide. And I cut the strip three inches wide so it's a little bit bigger than my tuck so that envelope should be big enough and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna place it in the middle and 
and fold these sides so I do have basic now I'm gonna take <coughs> one of these tabs and I'm gonna fold bottom I'm gonna fold that paper here I'm gonna flip it over and place it a little bit with small gap here to make sure that envelope will be big enough and I'm gonna fold this side make sure it's straight ah oh, come on So this will be like the bottom of my envelope, this here I'm gonna create a flap and I would like to have that flap kind of in a, a rounded, with rounded edge so I'm gonna use like to this one, my double sided tape and I'm gonna place it, do I have space for another one? I'm gonna place it somewhere between so I can make another pocket from that left over. And I'm gonna just draw the shape. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut it here. Okay, and that bottom one I would like to have kind of in the rounded shape as well and both corners similar. So I'm going to fold these corners together, take my scissors and I'm just going to cut it this way. So the bottom one will be in the rounded shape as well. I'm going to open it. And now I'm gonna cut here straight to the first fold and here a little bit in angle not too much and take it off same on the opposite side this is like bottom of my envelope and again a little bit in angle to that cross fold here so that will be bottom of my envelope and here I will do same in the angle here, a little bit bigger angle. And here straight. This will be like flap of my envelope, this one. So here straight. Again. And here again in angle. But I think to make sure it will sit together, I'm gonna fold this. Hey, come on. I'm gonna make mark here. And from that mark, I'm gonna cut to the this angle, and this should go good way. Yeah, I've got entry to my pocket, and here will be bottom of my pocket, and this will be flap. So I'm gonna open it, and it should be big enough. Yeah, it's big enough to hold my tag. So now I'm gonna open it and from my dice I'm gonna try to find some nice shape. So I did cut the window into in my envelope. I used uh, this is one of labels from collection from Tonic Studio. There are two label shapes, one is smaller, one is bigger, and then it's also inside for these two shapes these two labels and you can 
cap using this I miss you sign and it's from Tonics Tonics Studios I miss you guys this one so I use that label and I cut that, that entry and I'm gonna I'm gonna use one more of my tools uh, this is slot punch I bought it about three four months ago and I didn't use it much so I'm gonna use it here today I didn't use it much but something falling out <laughs> so I'm gonna punch here and I'm gonna punch from opposite side as well and I've got another new tool this this label maker I found it on Amazon and I'm gonna make some label here what I'm gonna make mm. butterfly okay so I'm gonna first start with few clicks on a uh, space like this enough and cut and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this label as a decoration here but first I just do love these strips I'm not sure what, <laughs> what is so interesting on these I just love them And my butterfly sticker. Just around them. So I think I'm gonna place it this way. Glue it. Flip it over. And here I'm gonna just glue it inside. And to make sure it will don't get unglued. Or it will be not, you know, on the way to my pack. I've got here masking tape. So I'm gonna use a piece of masking tape over it. Just to secure it a little bit. like this yeah I think this way it's good mm -hmm. so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna put glue here on the edge of this side I'm going to put glue here on the edge of this other side. Fold it down. Now I'm going to put the glue here. And here on the bottom. And fold it over. So the punching from 
this side it's nicely covered and I think that's done that's all what I want to do just slide my tuck inside and we will see yeah no I know just go there good see not bad right pocket with small decoration and with window where I can see that stamping mark and this beautiful picture I think I'm happy with this no I don't want you that <laughs> so this is my easy pocket with easy tack I hope you did enjoy it I hope you will have a fun in your craft room I have to say that Till now I'm loving it. Uh, I can sleep here much much better and I'm trying to craft just on this space and when I'm finishing I'm trying to put everything where it's supposed to be or make order on the table because I know I will use it tomorrow again. So till now, fingers crossed, it works. So hopefully that will stay forever because I was totally totally distracted by my my terrible craft room so this is my simple sharing for today thank you so much for stopping by have a wonderful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye